You can work in any size canvas, just make sure you created a 300 dots per inch. For this one, draw a really loose raggedy shape. Then you can draw an oval shape for the center. Make little ovals all around the center of the flower, and then connect them with short strokes. Make a new layer on top and really loosely trace the shape of the border. You can draw a really doodly rose by drawing a circular pattern like this and kind of triangular in the center, just keeping your strokes really loose and it's okay if they're overlapping. For this one, the messier the better. You can create a layer behind it to fill it in. It's okay if there's some weight gaps and texture to it. For a cute and quick tulip, draw a U-shape and then angle one side down, the other side down, and then draw a pointy shape in the center. You can use color drop to fill it in. Turn on alpha lock by taking two fingers and swiping to the right. Now with a contrasting color, you can add fun little details to your tulip. You can even create a layer behind it and add some extra fun little details. You can make a set of stems and leaves. Create all your elements in individual layers so you have lots of fun pieces to play around with to create your own flower bouquets and for a pattern. Now you have lots of flowers and stems to play around with to create your own pattern.